Hey folks, this is Vince and Ida Lee with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're gonna check out Raxon. Or as Mr. Miyagi would say, Raxon? <laughs> Raxon? I'm coming, I'm coming, sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> sorry. Okay, yeah, Raxon. Uh, this game is for one to four players ages 14 and up, and the average play time is about 45 to 60 minutes. It's worth mentioning that this is our first time playing this game, so we don't have a complete handle on the rules. We've got the general idea. Um, I did read the rules, and I think I know what I'm doing, but there may be some rule mistakes, so just keep that in the back of your mind. We're playing the intro game. This is a crowd control game where we're trying to rescue so many... Um, there's the civilians in this deck that we're trying to, that we'll be looking for in this grid over here and trying to move over to this evacuation pile. If we manage to bring over so many, we win the game. Uh, the game can, uh, you can lose a number of certain ways. There's this uh, Raxon track, which is like, think of Umbrella Corporation from Resident Evil. Um, if their power reaches eight, they win. Uh, likewise, if you try to add infection cards from this pile and put them into the discard pile here, and there's no more left to do, then you also lose the game that way. So there's a couple ways to lose, but there's one primary way to win. Um, I will have the rule book handy, just in case, because like I said, we're still relatively new to this. Um, victory is uh, 20 of the civilians for an intro game, and that's what we're playing, right? by the way. We're playing an intro game. It's a little bit easier. There's a number of different difficulties uh, with the game. Uh, for those of you that want to see the components, this is the rule book here. It's, it's not too bad. It's about uh, 11 pages, but the pages are fairly big. Um, you've got the box insert over here. Uh, these are a number of different characters that you can be. There's two-sided as well. There's a one to two player side, and then there's a three to four player side. And each of these people, they have roughly the same abilities, but they're slightly different. Uh, like for example, uh, this KD James, a disease control official, she has the evacuation ability, whereas uh, Gabriel Diaz here has a targeted evacuation, work, which works slightly different. So there's like five of the same pri uh, primary special actions, but each character will operate them or, or carry them out in slightly different ways. So there's that. Um, I am Thomas Hart. I'm a lieutenant in the Army. Uh, Ida Lee is a journalist, Meryl Wolf. Um, so we're just doing a two-player game. Uh, this is the rest of the stuff in the box insert for those of you curious. Uh, these are cards that we took out for the intro game, so we won't be using these. The game also comes with really cool uh, Dead of Winter uh, cards that you can add to your Dead of Winter game. Dead of Winter being a separate board game that I have covered before. So um, if you have Dead of Winter, you can add, it looks like there's two, uh, it looks like there's uh, these event cards here, or whatever they're called, and then you've got um, two characters that you can add to your Dead of Winter game, which is really nice. I like that. It's, it's Plat Hat Games, same people who did Dead of Winter. Um, you've also got these tokens here. As we complete special actions, we'll be adding them to our player cards here. And this is also a push your luck game. Um, there's one primary action that we can always do, and there's no, there's nothing wrong with it. We won't, you know, receive any sort of consequence or token for it. Uh, it's investigate. That simply means we reveal one of the cards in the grid over here. Um, if um, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, yeah, we can always investigate, but if we ever perform a special action, we have to put one of these tokens on here. And this is where the push or luck starts coming into play. Because um, we can either decide to keep going after we take that action, and if we do decide to keep going and not pass and, and forfeit the rest of the round, then uh, we have to observe these consequences. Uh, there's little icons here above each token that tells you what you must do before you attempt to carry out your next action. So it'll make more sense as we go, but just keep in mind that the more special actions we do, the more consequences that we start accruing, and the more things that we must do every single time that we're still in play. It's not just that one time. It's every, every time following that up until the day is over. 
once the day is over, that's when we resolve the end of the round and um, do what we have to do. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, the intro deck, um, again, a number of cards were taken out. Um, so the uh, primary population draw pile is made up of healthy civilians, and uh, you've also got some infected in here of different types. There's, there's different levels or different classes of healthy and different classes of infected. And usually, these cards will start to trigger as more of them are revealed in the grid. The grid will change based on how many people are playing. In our two-player game, it's a 3x3 three three grid. So it just goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Very slippery. <laughs> very, yeah, our table, yeah, it's a very slippery table. I'm going to have to put like a felt thing down at some point. <laughs> All right, so there's that. And again, this, this deck here is made up of healthy and non-healthy. And then this infection supply is just purely infected. There's just infected in here. Eventually, we don't want this to happen, but eventually these will come over to the discard pile. And at the end of a round, whatever's in the discard pile here, will join the draw pile and then those will enter play over here on the grid. So that's bad. Is on this section, is mm -hmm. it volatile infections or carriers? Both. Okay. It could be it could be I, we don't know what this is. Okay. There's different uh, different infected in the game, but yeah, there's a mix of different ones. Now just to show you the ones that we did take out, because we're not using these so I can safely show you these. Like this is a hostile, this little heart here means it's like a healthy civilian, but they're still hostile. If two were ever to show up in the grid, then we'd have to observe this effect. If there are four in that grid, then that little moon symbol means that the day is over and we can't do anything else. The end of the round is forced upon us. This little icon, this little flip person, by the way, means that we are forced to flip a card, even if we don't want to. Uh, so those are the hostiles, some other ones you might run into. There's celebrities. If a celebrity is ever killed, you have to follow the directions here. Um, let's see what else. We've got family. Um, if a family is killed, move all family cards from the evacuation pile, which is the safe zone, to the population discard pile, which is here. So any, if you happen to kill a family, any family that you've rescued will be unrescued and, and you have to rescue them all over again. You have to find them in the deck, in the grid, and then rescue them again. So killing family while there's family here is bad. Mm. Um, here's an, an example of some of the infected. There's chaotic. Um, if one is on the table, then you have to add a card to the grid. If two are on, uh, if two are on the grid, then you have to add two more cards to the grid face down. If three are visible, then the end of the round is, uh, you know, there you have to observe that. There's carriers in this game. It's also a type of infected. Uh, this little exclamation point uh, points to these racks on cards here. And racks on cards, uh, they're sort of like event cards. Uh, the majority of them are bad. Uh, so we don't want to draw them if we can, but sometimes they won't trigger at all. There's usually some sort of trigger at the top of the card in italic, sort of like in um, Dead of Winter that states, okay, if this is a thing, then keep going and trigger the card. If not, then it just goes into this untriggered uh, Raxon pile, and eventually these will make their way back into the draw deck, so there's a chance that they'd be drawn again in the future. So those are carriers. Uh, volatile, another type of carrier. Um, this symbol, this little red, uh, this little red virus, whatever that symbol is, that means that we add cards from the infection to the discard pile here. So that's bad if there's two or more of these volatile on the board. But again, we're not playing with these, so we're not going to see, we may or may not see, uh, you know, these card types in here. But, all right, so let's go ahead and give this a go. And uh, just, again, keep in the back of your mind, we're, this is our first time. So, uh, let's go ahead, I'll let you go first. The first player's done, chosen randomly. Okay. And so you can either take it, investigate, which results in no token, uh, like no consequences or anything like that. Okay. Everyone always, can always investigate. But if you decide to take a special action, we add a token to the first slot or the next available slot. And then if you decide to keep going after that, you have to observe each consequence before you can take your action. Okay. So. Oh boy. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. Real quick. Sure. Um, <laughs> how, how can a celebrity get killed? 
there are uh, like targeted airstrike. Choose a card in the crowd, kill that card, and any adjacent cards of your choice. But there may be certain airstrikes that will force a kill on like face down cards. Like let's say I decided to airstrike something and had to discard a face down card. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was. I was taking the chance that it was bad. Okay. If, it, if it ended up being good, I'd still have to resolve that death symbol thing on that mm -hmm. celebrity. So there are, if you, if you target like an infected and, and accidentally kill off a good person, mm -hmm. that's one way that that could happen. So, okay, so I, my next question was going to be, is that the only way? I, <laughs> I, I haven't played to know for sure, but yes, I think so. Okay. There may be some other ways that I don't, maybe in the rack, so I don't know. Okay. So I am going to investigate. Okay, so you're going to investigate. So you flip over one card. I will flip over this card. Okay. So Ooh. that is a hostile. It's a healthy person. Ooh. but So we can rescue them. However, if there's two of them on the table, then we have to um, t flip one over. We're forced to. Mm -hmm. um, if there's four on the grid, then round is over. Okay. So that was your turn. Now it's my turn. Oh. Um, I can do an investigate. Flip a card over. I can do an evacuation. Choose a row or column in the crowd. With all cards face up and healthy, move those cards to the evacuation pile. So in order for me to rescue this guy, I have to flip over, like I have to try and get a row or a column. Mm -hmm. So I may want to investigate this one or this one or this one or something like that. I have a targeted airstrike. Choose a card in the crowd. Kill that card. I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Enforce curfew. Choose a row or column in the crowd. Shuffle the cards together, face down, and place them on top of the population draw pile. So it's a way of getting certain cards. Like let's say that there's too many of these on the table already and we're afraid to turn over another one. That's one way of getting them out of play mm -hmm. so that we're not triggering these bottom effects here. Mm -hmm. Quarantine, move up the two face up infected cards from the crowd and or the uncontained quarantine uh, pile to the contained quarantine. Uh, that's another thing I didn't explain. There's a contained quarantine, uncontained quarantine. So the contained quarantine is like the safest of the safe. For what you, this is where you would put bad infected cards. At the end of the round, they move from here to the uncontrolled, or the uncontained. Any cards in uncontained will move from here to the discard pile. So you want to try and keep them in contained for as long as possible. They'll eventually make their way down here and eventually make their way down here, but putting them into contained quarantine ensures that they're out of this draw deck for possibly two rounds, unless you can move them back. Hmm. And there are, I think that's what this quarantine, yeah, move up to two face up infected quarantine from the crowd and or the uncontained quarantine and then put them into the quarantine. So I can move cards from here into here or here into here or a combination. And this question mark means move, I can move an additional card, but I have to draw a Raxon card. So it's sort of like, it's a risk, you know, you can, I'll give you that extra card to move, but you have to draw wax on card to do it. Um, aggressive crowd control, swap the position of any two cards in the crowd. You may also flip a face up card in the crowd face down. That is also a question mark. So I could take an investigate, like that's the sort of like this and an investigate together, but I'd also have to draw a wax on card to do that. So I'm just going to investigate, play it safe right now. How about this one? That... Sure. Okay, familiar. Uh, so if this one gets killed, the active player must pass their next turn this day. If that person dies, they're out of the round. Okay. So, or whoever killed them is out for the round completely. Mm -hmm. And this will keep going, by the way, until both of us pass or until the round is forcibly end you know, via, say, stuff like that, or via this and this little moon symbol that forces us to end the round. So now it's your turn again. Mm -hmm. There's no consequences, so... And you could still pass if you want, but you there's no reason not to. Yeah. I think I might use a special action. Oh, uh, will you now? <laughs> what will you use? I will use interview, since interview. I'm a journalist. What does this interview do? I can pick up and look at a face-down card in the crowd. If the card is infected or hostile, return it face-down. Otherwise, return it face up, and you re you may repeat this action's effect on an adjacent face down card. Ah, so yeah, slightly different. So instead of, instead of quarantine, you've got interview. Mm -hmm. Pick up and say, so which one were you going to look at? This one. Okay, and Just then to make sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, so 
So if this is a good card, mm -hmm. you could then return it face up and then Do you can again. repeat on an adjacent, so yeah. on one of these or one of these. Adjacent is up, down, left, or right next to that card, diagonal is not. Okay, okay so yeah, if you, so you get a token added to okay. that, whoever slot that is, the first one there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're going to look at it. Do I, can I show you? or I mean, nah, nah, Well, I'll oh, know. If, if you put it back face down, then I know it's... A, oh, look at that. Innocent. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so now you can do it again okay. to an adjacent card, which would be this one or this one. Yeah. Okay. Which one's more slipperier? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Celebrity. Okay, awesome. All right. And by the way, the intro game is easier, just for the record. Uh, you, you, you seed this deck with a number of infected based on the difficulty level. Mm -hmm. So in a very hard game, this starts off with a lot of infected. Whereas in an intro game, this starts off with very little infected. So it takes more time for the infected to get over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So I so, keep going until... Um, is that what it says? It says, is, return it face up and you, re you may repeat this action's effects... Or an adjacent face card. Okay, yes. Yeah, it, so it doesn't say stop until you right, find Right, right, absolutely. Right? So, yeah, I would say keep going with it. So, the only adjacent card yeah. is that one. Ooh, so I have to return it face down? Right, face down. So that we know that's, I know that's an infected. I don't know what it is, but I know that. I don't know if you're allowed to tell me or not, but I'm assuming it's infected. We don't want to draw it. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's my turn. Um, I can do evacuation. Choose a row or column in the crowd where all the cards are face up and healthy. Move these cards to the evacuation pile. So um, I'm going to go ahead and play that special action, get a token there, and I'm going to choose this row mm -hmm. and bring them over to the uh, evacuation pile. And we're three out of 20 uh, done. And that takes out the hostile too. So if there's another hostile in here and we draw it, mm -hmm. uh, nothing bad happens, which is nice. And it's my turn? Yes. Now, here's the thing. If you decide to go, yet now we would look at, okay, do you have any consequences that you have to observe? In this case, yes. Mm -hmm. So if you decide to go, you, ha you are forced to flip over a card okay. per this consequence here. Yep. So, yeah, if you decide to take your turn, you'd have to flip a card over first before taking your turn. <laughs> so I so can you flip, flip two cards? <laughs> if you decide to investigate, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so that's... So that's the one that you were for. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So good thing I got rid of that hostile. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have had to have, we would have been forced to flip another card. Mm -hmm. So this was the card that you were forced to flip. Yeah. Now you take your regular action, whether it be investigate or another special action. If I choose to evacuate, choose a row or column in the crowd with all cards we sub. Can you I could, do this? Yes. Even though there's a card missing, you could still do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. All right. So you're going to get rid of those two. Yeah. Good call. Okay, so now that's uh, five. Mm -hmm. So five out of 20. We're doing real good. Now, if I take my turn, I'm forced to flip over something because that's, I have a consequence do I here. Need a token here. Oh, yes, you do. Good call. Mm -hmm. All right. Sweet, we need to do this four more times. <laughs> well, knowing, here's the thing mm -hmm. I'm forced to flip something if I take my turn. Okay. You're forced to flip two things. Ooh. We know that this is a bad card, mm -hmm. we don't know what these are. So, I'll go ahead and take my turn and hope that maybe these two or maybe these two are good and then we can evacuate those people. Mm -hmm. um, if, if one of them is bad, we may just want to, like when your turn comes around, you may want to pass mm -hmm. to prevent yourself from flipping anything else over. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, any, any infected that are left over here at the end of the round goes into... Um, the population. I, and, and, right, into the population discard. And I think... More are. This is where my rule. This is where my memorization is a little faulty. I think the number of infected left here determines how many get drawn from here into here. Does it count if it's face up or face down? It doesn't matter. Oh wow. Yeah. So I think when we get to the end of round, let me just uh, let me see if there's an end of round section real mm -hmm. quick here. Game end. End of day. The crowd infection spreads. Count the total number of infected cards in the crowd and in the uncontrolled quarantine. Trigger this that many times up to a maximum of four. So if there are four infected here, four cards will be drawn if we don't get rid of them. Okay. And then they, they will get added to the, the draw deck. Okay. So I'm gonna take my turn for sure. I have a question real yeah. quick, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. If no other cards can be flipped and I wanna keep going, 
But I can't flip anything. What, do, what happens? That gets ignored. Really? Mm hmm Okay. But... So, so you can still take a special action? Yeah, you could still take a special wow. action. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, that's all I wanted to know. Okay, you're good. Mm -hmm. I'm forced to... I, I'm going to take my turn. I'm forced to flip something. I'm going to choose this one as my forced flip. Okay. Carrier. Not great. <laughs> if there's two of them on here, I have to draw a Raxon card. So now I get to take my regular action. You know what I should have done? I should have done, I should have flipped that one or that one, because then I could have done a targeted airstrike. Mm. And I know that's a bad card. So if this were a bad card, then I could have used the targeted airstrike on that and wiped them both out. Oh, so, okay. So I thought you can only, earn, only do the special actions with a card face up. No, you can do a tar Yeah, it's adjacent face up or oh. face down. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I think it's only, they have to be face up when you're evacuating, oh. unless, unless a rule tells you otherwise. Mm -hmm. Um, so, that was my forced flip. Mm -hmm. So, do I choose a row or column in the crowd, shuffle the cards together, uh, quarantine, move up the two face-up infected cards from the crowd. I could quarantine, but then that causes racks on the... Oh, it says move up the two face-up infected, so I couldn't move a face-down infected, mm -hmm. even though we know that's infected. Mm -hmm. Um... Can you still kill it? I could kill it, but if this oh, ends up being something, yeah, I don't, I don't want to. Evacuation. All right. You might as well investigate. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about investigating this one up here just to see what it is, and it is chaotic. Mm. Okay, so according to this, it's a one. We add one person to this. So we have to draw one from here. Why? Cause, oh, because it's only one. Yeah, only it's only one. Oh. If there's two of them, then we add two more face down. Yep. Okay. So now we have to add this somewhere to where it touches the most people here or here. So I'm going to put this here. Or, well, because we know that's infected. Mm -hmm. If we can, is there any reason why you'd want it here? Is there any reason you could think? Okay, I don't think it matters. So that was that was my that was my investigate. That was my investigate. So now it is your turn. So you can either pass, or you would be forced to flip a card here and then flip another. So you would flip probably these two. Yeah, I would. But if one of them is chaotic, we add more. If one of them is carrier, then you draw a Raxon card. <laughs> So, or you can just pass and end your turn, and that'd be it. And then, Let's do it. <laughs> okay, whatever you want. Okay, Let's so, do it. So Boom. You, volatile. <laughs> great. I love volatile. It's two, though. So uh, yeah, so uh, you need two in order for that to trigger. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Susceptible. Okay. Lucky. Okay. So, all right. So that's a healthy person there. So now you get to take your turn. Um. Okay, so... I know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to bomb. Well, I, <laughs> here's the thing. If I take my turn, I am forced to flip that last card over. And if, if it's a chaotic, then we don't want to do that. I'm going to use a special and kill all the cards in one column of the row. Oh, really? You can do that? All, all of them? In all cards in one row or column of the crowd. Oh, nice. So I'm going to kill them all. Wow, that's awesome. You could do that. Mm-hmm. The chosen rower column may not include face-up healthy cards. Oh, okay. So they have to be like three. Or, okay, so we can get rid of these. Mm -hmm. so All right. So does that... Now, because I killed them, they, they go they into go a, away? They go, no, unfortunately no! not. They go into a discard pile here. Oh. Uh, if it said quarantine, that would be one thing. But it said oh, kill, right? Or yeah. So it's okay. We got... That's actually good because now we can rescue this one maybe. Yeah. So that goes here. That's going to get shuffled back in here at some point. And that's also good because that lessens how many cards get drawn from this deck into the population discard pile at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's good. We wanted to get rid of them, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. I could have also moved two of them and put them in quarantine. Oh. Would, that, would that have been better? 
Uh, yeah. Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Those two quarantined would stay out for a while, but then more, unless more, I did something. Yeah. See, I, now I can flip that over unless mm -hmm. it's a chaotic or, well, I don't think one card matters. I could take my turn and then rescue this one. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my turn. I'm forced to flip with this evacuation here. Mm -hmm. This is a volatile. Two cards need to be out for this. Luckily, you got rid of that other red one. So. Yes. <laughs> so now that's visible. I can either destroy it or rescue this one. What I'm thinking about doing. R e s u e. Well. I would, here's the thing, we could either rescue this one, mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, I don't think we're, I'm not going to play, any, you'd have to flip a card, then draw a card, then flip a card again. That might not be so bad for your case. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Do I rescue, I'm tempted just to bomb that one out of the Stone Age. How do you bomb it? What's your... I have uh, targeted air. Choose a card in the row, or in the crowd. Kill that card and any adjacent card of your, any adjacent cards of your choice. Mm -hmm. So, by destroying this and putting it here, that prevents it from, again, at the end of the round, we don't want any more cards being added from oh, this infection supply. So, I'm trying to get rid of those at the expense of not rescuing this one. You could. Unless there's a way to, okay, move up to two face up, infect the cards from the crowd and or uncontained quarantine. So, I can move a card into the quarantine, but then I'd have to draw a Raxxon card on my next turn, which I don't think I'm going to do. I think if I do that and put this card into quarantine, I'm going to be passing on my next turn so as, so as to avoid the Raxxon cards. Raxxon cards, again, are bad things usually, but most some cases they also raise this tracker, and if it gets to eight, it's over. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking quarantine this one keep it out of here for a while okay. and then um that ends my turn okay. you if you decide to go yes. and keep going <laughs> you'd flip a card which there's none okay. you'd add a card and then you'd flip it okay so in this case i have to flip this you have to flip card. this card whatever it is Let's do it volatile oh. <laughs> okay luckily only two of them oh, yeah man. two is to trigger so now you can take your turn you could <laughs> you could what is what is this the poison marker what is that oh uh, good question <laughs> that is move a hostile card from the evacuation pile to the uh okay so if there's a hostile in here it'll be moved from here into the discard pile Ooh. which is bad we don't want yeah. that okay so i am gonna be passing on my next turn just that i don't want to draw a racks on card okay so I'm going to be passing. I think we're at the point now where we're good. So I guess you have a choice. Do you want to rescue? Do you, well, whatever you want to do really, but do you want to, well, either move this to quarantine or do we want to save this one? We've got, oh, man. we need 20 cards. One, two, three, four. We got five. Yeah. We're a fourth of the way already to victory. So either we get one more card in there, make it six out of 20, or we... It would be best to quarantine this. To prevent this. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. We can always get more later of these. Yeah. So you're going to quarantine that. That adds... To this right here. Okay. But you're ending your turn, and I'm going to end my turn too, though. Right. So in that case, what will happen is... Now I'm... Unless... I'm sorry. Unless I can do the flip, add, add, flip. <laughs> <laughs> but then... You draw a ra You can. You draw a Raxxon card. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, never mind, never mind. It's, it's not, but if you want to take that risk, it's up to you. Even if I didn't draw a Raxxon card, that would mean that more cards would be added, and then you probably wouldn't be able to do anything because you need to flip. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> and I, I know you don't want to. I, I don't like pushing my luck too much, but it's, again, it's whatever, whatever you think is better. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm passing. Okay. And. I'm passing. Okay, so now we reset. All of these go off. Okay. This goes into the population discard oh, pile. So sorry. That's all right. She What's might her name? <laughs> her name is Gia Najar. I guess. I'm sorry for all you Gias out there. Yes. <laughs> Nothing personal. I see. All right. So now we shuffle these into 
this. All right, so it's clear, cool clear. how this game keeps going either until you win or until oh, you lose. Yes. Right? Uh huh. Okay. And these moved on into uncontained quarantine. Okay. And because there were no cards in uncontained quarantine, um, still nothing would get moved over there from infection to discard. Okay. But next round, we're going to have at least two, unless we find a way to move these back into quarantine again. Oh, okay, so when there's cards in uncontained... That counts toward the count this. here. Oh, mm -hmm. that's nasty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. This zombie outbreak is more uh, serious it, than it I is. thought it was. <laughs> no, as opposed to being all puppies and kittens. I get it. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so another round. Uh, we're going to do another three-by-three three grid. Mm -hmm. All right. In a three-to-four player, how... how I think a three-to-four player is like... A, it's a uh, three-by-four, I think it is. For really? three players, it's three-by-four. For four players, it's four-by-four. Four. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a two-player, it's just three-by-three. Three. Mm -hmm. So it's either nine, twelve, or sixteen cards, depending on how many people are playing. One of these days, we should just play it on the floor and just spread all the cards out. Make it like how it On the floor where the dog hair is. That, that, oh. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put a tablecloth. A tablecloth. Oh, that that way we can like, like put all of these mm. cards. Makes sense. <laughs> just one round. <laughs> oh, just one round. Push your luck. No whammies, no whammies. <laughs> Stop. Okay. So it is. Now, is it, I guess the turn, the uh, players go... Yeah, alternate? Yeah, I think. Okay. So now it's, I get to go first. I will investigate first. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and choose the middle. Volatile! Oh, lovely! Oh. Already volatile. Your turn. All right. That, that needs two to trigger. Hmm. All right. Let's get this hair out of the way. Zombie hair. Zombie hair. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you some token. I will... Um... I will use my interview again. Uh, you like your interview. I do. I love it. I'm a journalist. <laughs> you know, I have to. Okay, go for it. All right. So I'm going to pick this one. Okay. Look at it. Oh. That good, huh? Okay. So my turn. Obviously, I'm not going to look over there. <laughs> um, however, uh, wait. Target, choose a card in the crowd. Kill that card and any adjacent cards of your choice. Oh. I could bomb that volatile and choose this adjacent card, knowing that it's a bad card. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to show you this. What is it? Read like? the second sentence. I think it's the second sentence. Uh, what is it? Which one? Interview? Yeah. If the card is infected or hostile, return it face down. Oh, or hostile. <laughs> I, I thought it was always infected. I didn't know about the hostile yeah. part. Uh, so it could be hostile. It I could be. I don't know. I didn't give any. Ah, uh, yes, it could be. <laughs> I see. No, I I didn't know that. So technically, <laughs> I was just refreshing. Refreshing, refreshing my memory for the memory. folks at home who don't who don't know who this interviewer. Yes. Okay. So never mind that. <laughs> Maybe like check which ones are hot. I might do. I might do another investigate. Let's say this one. Hostile. <laughs> Great. Um, that looks like Daryl's brother, Meryl, from <laughs> Walking does. Dead. It really does. I wonder which one's Daryl in the crowd. Yeah. So, hostile. Nothing happens, but two or more means an, uh, that means you're forced to flip. Yeah. So now it's your turn. What now, if we don't if, have any hostiles in the crowd, you know? You know yeah, you never know. You never know. I mean, this, this mean. could be infected. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. Yeah, it could so, be. Uh, <laughs> if you take your turn, you're forced to flip yeah. something. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna flip it. Maybe I'll flip it. No. Oh boy! <laughs> Just kidding. If I know what it is. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh man. Push your luck. Yeah. Okay. So. Hmm. Susceptible. If you kill it, if you kill this person, then this infection. Card moves over. Oh, so green and red means. Well, move it we, over? yes, it, it's just okay. the symbol, but green means it's a healthy person that can be saved. I see. We want to save her if possible. Yeah. Now that was your forced flip. You still have an action. Okay. So if you do your investigate again, but I am going to. Oh crap. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> if you investigate again, you're gonna have to flip twice on your next turn. You're forced to flip two. 
If I invest. If you investigate it again, a second token gets added here. You mean interview again? Yeah, that's what oh, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, I don't think I'm gonna interview at this point. Okay. But I may want to. Um. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I agree. Oh, man. This is rough. I can't evacuate unless it's a row or a column of healthy people. Mm. Oh, I know what I can do. I'm going to take an action. Okay. Can I take two actions in a row? No. Oh, Just one. Flip. Okay. Flip. Okay. Check this out. Check out what I'm going to do. Check okay. This out. I'm going to use an action to. Oh. The face of healthy card in the crowd. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Persuasive crowd control? Yep. So I'm going to swap the position of any two cards in the crowd. And you may flip a face up healthy card in the crowd face down. Ah, okay. And then in the next turn. I can, I can evacuate all these people. But do they have to be face up, though? Whenever you evacuate them. Oh, flip nuggets. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's okay, though, because if any of these other ones are hostile, then we won't suffer any consequences. Yeah. So we know that this is... <laughs> that was a useless we, This switch. is more than likely, maybe, possibly... <laughs> that was a useless switch. I shouldn't have done that. No, though. that's actually... I mean, then... How do you evacuate? Well, here. Yeah. Well, how do you evacuate? Evacuate. I evacuate by getting a row of face-up healthy people. Yeah, see? So I could, I mean, this. I could evacuate these. Like, that forced flip may not be so bad with the two bandits, or whatever they're called. The hostiles. Hostiles. But they have to be faced up right. in order to evacuate. And if they were both faced up, they we trigger. would have to, yeah, so that was a really bad swap. Well, <laughs> sorry, we'll figure it out. Yeah. So. We just have to hope that all, that all these are healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to review, because I got that targeted airstrike. I want to take a look at the cards around the volatile. Okay. This one, and actually, I'd rather do this one, because if it's healthy, then this we could possibly evacuate this row. Wait, are you investigating or targeting? Investigate. Oh, okay, okay. I don't have any uh, consequence tokens yet, so I'm going to investigate. Hostile. Oh, it's a good thing I flipped down this middle yes. one then. Yes, so... Wow, that's a lot of hostiles. That ends my turn. Really? Mm -hmm. You're not going to continue to investigate? I already did. I, no, can't I can't... You, can't I, you take it more than once? No. Only, I can only investigate oh. one... You can only take one action on your turn. Whether it be investigate or one of your special actions. Okay. So now it's your turn again. Now if you decide to go, you have to flip over two cards, and then you can take whatever action you want. Okay. Now keep in mind, by flipping this one, we know is a hostile. Yeah. This one possibly being a hostile. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. That would force another flip. Yeah. And well. that would mean that there's three of them that we know of. Possibly two, mm. possibly three. Well. Four would mean the end of the round. Yeah. All right. So with these two forced thingies, I would have to flip three times, right? Two. Two. One, two, and then investigate. And then, well, you don't have to investigate if you don't want to. I you could take another action. I want to. <laughs> you want to. I want to. I want to flip all these three right here. <laughs> How about we just flip the two and figure out what we want to do from there? All right. All right, one. so one. That's, yes. yes, good. Healthy. And then two. Okay. So, yeah, choose another one. <laughs> Hostile. <laughs> oh, oh. And now I have to force flip? You're f yes, this, this forces you to flip. <laughs> <laughs> Volatile. Okay, so I changed my mind. No, no, no. So now we have to move one from the infection supply into the. So this is a guaranteed infected. Oh yuck! Is that is that a carrier or? or we volatile? don't know what it is. Oh okay. Okay, that's. Okay. So now it is still your turn. Those were your two forced. Well, three forced. Yes. Yeah. Um. So. Can I investigate? Oh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but what if the third one is? What like... if you just rescued these three and then passed on your <laughs> okay, next okay, turn? Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm going to evacuate. You all have to these... choose a column. Yeah. Okay. Three. All right. I'm. What's, what's her name? Lily May. I don't like you, Lily. <laughs> yes. I don't either. I will destroy you. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Why? 
I could have moved these two into the contained. I can do that too, probably. Oh, really? Move up the two face-up infected cards from the crowd and or... Now, that would mean that I would have to take a Raxon card next. You've got more consequences than I do. <laughs> so you should investigate and then... <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'm such a terrible... If you take your next turn, yeah. you'd flip three cards. I'm not going to do it. Two of them, probably... One is guaranteed a force flip, so... It would be like force flip, force flip, force flip. Basically. Yeah. You'd have to flip three cards. And then that, that extra flipped forced flip from the hostel would go to waste. Mm -hmm. You'd have to flip those three cards. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I think... No, I can quarantine. Uh, if I kill a bandit... Well, a hostel. If I kill a hostel, I don't think anything bad happens. Really? You can kill a hostel? Yeah, he just goes back into the population discard pile. Like, I, could, I can wipe this one out and this one out. Is, when you say 20, we need 20, right? 20 in there. Is there more than 20 in the whole Yes, there's, thing? I oh. believe there's, okay. um, I, know I don't know how many healthy people are left after I took those cards out from the deck. Okay. Um, we'll take a look at the 60 population cards. Um... <laughs> I, I think there are 30 healthy people. Okay. In the intro game, you only need 20. But in the full game, you need all 30. Okay. I think. I see. So. Depending on what you do, I have an idea. Choose a row or column in the crowd. Shuffle the cards together face down and place them on top of the population drop pile. Mm. But. All right, move up to two infected cards. I, I would like to move these two volatiles to quarantine. How come you can't? I could, but then I, I would get a Raxon card. I just have to hope that the Raxon card isn't going to be nasty. I think we'll, I'll take the risk. So I'm going to quarantine mm -hmm. two face-up infected cards from the crowd and or the uncontained quarantine and move them to the uh, quarantine. So I can take these two, put them here, and then maybe on my next turn, I could do another quarantine and move these back. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to take these two first. Okay. Two face-up ones, put them into the uh, quarantine pile. Okay. I can't, when I do the swap, I can't just swap with a blank, right? Uh, no. Sorry. It'd be cool. Yeah, I see, I think you're, I, I think you're trying to evacuate an entire row of hostels. Mm -hmm. I wanted to. <laughs> we still don't know what this one is. Yeah. So, now, here's the uh, thing. If you take your turn, you flip I'm, all three. Yeah, I know. But that's not... Well, here's the thing. If this is a hostel, the round ends. <laughs> but that's not necessarily bad because... No. There's, if, if it's a volatile, will it end? No, because I moved the, hot, hot, uh, the, hot, the volatiles over here. But if this one was a volatile? It wouldn't matter. Oh, okay. So it wouldn't matter. All right, so I'll just flip all three. What's the disadvantage of flipping all three? It sh uh, un yeah, unless there's four hostels, in which case the round ends. If this is this is hostile, hostile. This is a hostel, then the round ends because four of them will end the round. That's not necessarily bad. The only thing that would happen in that scenario, if there were four hostels, yeah. there's no infected here, but there's two here. So at most, we would add two from the infection oh. supply into here. That, so that, our, that, okay, so our goal is to get these two up here. I'm going to try to with, with my, maybe my next turn, I possibly. I see, I see. Okay. But the risk, I don't know how many hostels are left in the deck. We've got, we've got one hostel... Two host there's three hostels already in no. the evacuation pile. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Alright, so you're gonna take your turn, flip three of three. them. Three. One, two. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Boom. Alright, so that ends that round. So they're all dead, right? <laughs> they're not dead, they're they moved they're they moved here. So the way this works is wow. um there's two left here. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I don't have to take my racks on draw. Yeah. But um, so there's two here, so two get moved wow, here. Wow, that's not even fair. <laughs> yeah, well. And these two move here. These wow. move down. These move into the discard. I thought. See, I thought it was just 
when the round ends, these two go down in the discard. I didn't know you had to take from that. Yeah, it's it's whatever's left here plus the cards that are here, up to four. So if there's two here and one here, yeah. three would get drawn, yeah. and then two moved on here, and then, yeah. I, I knew about this, but I didn't know about the uncontained quarantine right. having an effect on the... That's okay. Effect. That's cool. I need to see the rule book on that. <laughs> well, no, I, you don't trust me. I challenge. Yeah, you challenge I, me. I, I only challenge. Do you challenge me to a duel? I only challenge because I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I, yes, I see. Right, Plaid Hat it's Games. Not, it's not that. Dear Plaid Hat Games, I don't like this. Signed, Ida Lee. X O X O X O. All right. Oh man, that's rough. All right, so you get to reset your board. Oh, yeah. I get to reset mine. Okay. This is the third round. That's a lot of hostels. Yeah, round three. Yeah, that was. But we did save some. You know, you know what it was? My swap. I thought I was being all smart with my swap, but instead, my swap kind of messed Our up first up. game. Yeah. No big deal. If we lose, we lose. Yeah, we're good. I'm having fun. Yeah, I am too. Don't worry. We'll record this again in advanced, advanced version. Ugh. <laughs> Ida Lee rules. <laughs> Everyone dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so now you get to go first this time. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's just take the chance. I'm going to investigate. Just investigate. Okay, just to flip. Simple investigation. Flip the flip. Um, let's see. I'm left-handed, so I guess I will go left. Oh, Chaotic. That means we add one more to the grid. There's one. Okay, so we add one from here. We can really? basically add it wherever we want. But there's no space. Well, we add space, so oh, where, that's terrifying. where do you want to add it? Um Add it right here. <laughs> yeah, the king of the crowd. Yeah, yeah, there we go, that works. Or mm -hmm. if we add it here and reveal it later as an infected, we could I could bomb it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's actually good. Alright. So now it's my turn. But what if it's an innocent? Then that would count as a row, and we could save it, maybe. This? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Never mind, guys. He's good. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I, all right, I'm going to reveal this one. Okay. Always the middle. Familiar. Oh, man. Uh, okay, yeah. If he dies, the active player must pass. Yeah. Okay, so we want to keep him alive. All right. But he's a healthy one. Yeah. So now it's your turn again. Okay, my turn. I'll investigate and go with this one. Hostile. Hostile. Of okay. course. Gotcha. Of course. <laughs> I will investigate this one. Okay. Good luck. Volatile. Oh. <laughs> okay. Two of those, and we add another thing from here. Mm-hmm. All right. My On my next turn, I'm probably going to do a targeted airstrike to get rid of these two. What? What's a targeted airstrike? Uh, choose... Oh wait, not that one. Uh, quarantine. I move up the two face-up infected cards from the crowd and or here to the quarantine. That gets rid of those two. Okay. I'm <laughs> one card moves from infection to supply. One more ends the round. Okay. So that ends my turn. Your turn. You have to force flip three cards. <laughs> okay. So whatever one is it a volatile or. If, 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 you, if you know what this is... I have to flip these three. All right. I thought you were going to do evacuate. Oh, sorry. For, for these two. I, didn't, I, I thought, well, I could have. I don't know. Just to take away one of the hostiles, you know? Right, I'm going to have to do more targeted airstrikes so we can add more <laughs> cards to the tableau. I think that's what I need to do. Maybe. But right. I'm, I may have messed up there. Three cards, all right? All right. Or should I pass? <laughs> That's a good op option, too. Well, here's the thing. If I were to evacuate, I could only do it twice. So I'd have to try and move cards around in some way. I can swap cards, I think. Can I swap? Well, you can evacuate these two. I can, aggressive for, I can do aggressive crowd control. What's that? Swap the position of any two cards in the crowd. I could swap this and this, and then do a targeted airstrike on this. Oh, on these two. Three. And those three would get wiped out. Or... It's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, so if you pass, if you, if you go, you flip these three. If, if, there's, if two of them are hostiles, or if, one, if, if you get one hostile, it's game over. Well, okay, no, I'm going to pass, and I'm going to let you do your volatile. Oh, boy. All right, this is it. This is, this is it. All right. Oh, wait. If I pass, that's it for me? Well, yeah, if you pass, then that's, that's it. you pass for the rest of the round. Oh, you know. But here's the thing, though. I mean, if you if you draw one hostile, 
That forces another flip. Oh no. That's four flips. If this is a volatile, game yeah. over. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Okay, so <laughs> in that case, do you want to take the chance that one of these is a hostile? No, no. I have a feeling one of those. I have a feeling one of those is, is a... We've, be, we've seen a lot of hostiles, I'm just saying. <laughs> I know, hostiles and volatiles. I, I think that's a volatile. All right. So I'm, if you're going to pass, I'll finish this as best I can. Yeah. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going add to a add a card. Um, I'm going to add a card. Well, it has to be... With, it has to touch the most number of cards. Well, I guess that's actually over here. Because if I evacuate this row, I can't oh, do it with a, yeah, a card that's, right, that's, that's face right, down. That's right, that's right. So now I'm going to... Aggressive crowd control, swap the position of any two cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's, I have to go again. I add a card to the tableau. It has to be this. Probably should evacuate it first. And then I have to force flip something. I may force flip this. Wait, I thought you already added this. That was from the last round. This is, I'm, I'm playing another, that, I added that and then did a force, I, I added this, yeah. then I took the swap action, yeah. which I added here. Now I get to go again. I took the swap, that was my action, I took the swap action. Okay. So now it's a new turn for me. I have to observe this again. Add a card, uh, observe a force flip. <laughs> okay. I see. So I'm going to have to see what this is and hope it's not a hostile. Chaotic. One add a card. <laughs> Boy. Alright. What I may have to do is um, I'm going to bomb this here. Might as well bomb the hostile too. <laughs> I, no, I need to rescue as many as possible. So I'm going to do a targeted airstrike again okay. on this volatile. Okay. That gets rid of this, this, yeah. and this. I can choose to get rid of this if I want, but I'm not going to. Oh, I thought you were tar- oh. But I, I could target that, but I also want to try and clear this column for a, a rescue. I see, I see now. So now I get to go again. I had two here, which were almost out. Oh, man. Uh, it has to be here, and I'll put that here. Um, and then I have to force flip one. <laughs> we know that this is a bad one. Yeah. I'm going to force flip this one. Hopefully it's not a hostile. Carrier. Okay. All right. So now I have a choice to make. Um, <laughs> mm. I can't evacuate these until this is clear. Mm -hmm. I have to swap. You can swap these two. What would that do? Make it a row so it, you can evacuate them. What do you mean? Like these two cards. Oh, I could, huh? Uh, of any two cards. Okay, so yeah, I could... F good uh, good call. This and this. And now you start the process over, but we have no more cards to All add. Alright, now if that happens, I don't think we... The game is over. No. Uh-oh. Okay. I just don't think we... I don't think we can observe it. Not with this being here. Unless we shuffle this, but I don't think so. Observe. If the crowd is empty, okay, at the maximum, no. Shuffle the population, discard pile to form a new population draw deck. Ooh. So these get shuffled. We know that the majority of these are bad. Oh, man. So I'm just going to have to not, I'm going to have to remember what I'm putting down. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. Um, force flip two of them. Did you add two? Oh, I have, to, I have to add two. That's right. So one, two. All right. And then I have to force flip two. Okay. Do we know what this is? No. Oh, gosh. Well, it's <laughs> one. And I have to force flip another one. Do I we know what this is? No. Do we know, know what this is? No. These here, I don't know. But these are mo most likely. We so just put this down, yes? Yeah. That's more, I say, I could, I could airstrike this. Okay. So I'm going to find out what this is. Force flip, carrier, two, racks on. All right, let's see what this is. Conspiracy part two. Nope. No. All right, so for my next action, um, I could evacuate these three. Mm -hmm. 
Which I'm going to do. That's 18? Yes. Okay. I could airstrike this as well to prevent... If we get another carrier, it's game over. So oh, I, yeah. So maybe instead of evacuating, <laughs> maybe I need to airstrike Everything. these... Everything. Well, what was this? Was this I a bad... I have no idea. I don't know what the rest of the cards are. But I... Oh, I don't know. I was going to say, I think these three are okay. and like this. I know this is bad because that came from here. Yeah. I'm going to airstrike... This is my last targeted airstrike. Get this, 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 and this out of here. Pop, I'm going to leave that. I don't can, know what... Can we look at it? <laughs> well, I know it's... Yeah, chaotic. Uh, I, know, okay. I know it was bad. Because all the cards that were in here were bad. Yeah. All right. So now, that was my turn. Now I have to add three more. Uh, this is one, two, three. I'm assuming those are bad, too. Right? And then we have to force flip two. So what did I add? I added here. You added these four. I added these four? These four, right here. Okay, so I don't want to add, I don't want, I'm not going to look at those. I want to look at this one. Okay, good luck. Hostile, force flip one. Force flip, oh my gosh. Volatile. And now I have to add, uh, for force flip one more. Yes? I think so, yeah. Because the hostile yeah. made me force flip one. Yeah. I added, I, I forgot which one I added. These four. Alright, so I'm going to, Force flip this one. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Suscept oh, finally. Okay. All right. So my turn, regular turn, is to evacuate. I'm going to evacuate um, these here. That's three. It's still 18. We needed 1920. Yeah. Somehow I got to figure this out. Somehow. All right. Now it's my turn again. I have to keep going. Otherwise, we lose. Because... Um, <laughs> Because there's only one left. Yeah. So, <laughs> evacuation. I got to force flip something. Um, what was not added recently? These two. These two are not added recently? This one, yeah. All right. I'll try this one. Hope for the best. Carrier. That's one. There's no carriers. Uh, then I got to add three. These are nasties. One, two, three. Um, then force flip two. Oh uh, my gosh. Yeah, we're, this is not. No. This is only Raxon. I can't even imagine Dead Winter. Mm. <laughs> I, I think the game had me take out a certain number of healthy cards. I, so I think these are the only two remaining in the game. Yeah, I think so too. The rest, they, basically the rest are all bad. Yeah. So I gotta figure out which one's uh, purple. <laughs> I I don't care about the racks on too much. Yeah. So which one was okay? So well, it, does it matter? This is the only one that hasn't been dealt recently. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Well, how would we rescue these two? Swapping. But then we'd have to get them by themselves somehow. I need to do, um, select the row or column in the crowd, shuffle the cards together, and place them face down on top of the pop. But that doesn't help because they're just going to get right back out again. I need to pop find a way to manipulate this to get these two by themselves in the same row or column. Um, I would say, like, swap these two and then do somehow a targeted airstrike and try to get these two. I still have to reveal two cards from this down here. So... I guess this one? Yeah. Maybe. Well, oh. well, that's all right. We'd add this to here. Doesn't matter. And then one more. You pick. Wait, what do you mean one more? I have two force flips down you here. You force flipped this one. Did I? Yeah. But that was for this. Wasn't it? No, that was for this. Uh, okay, all right. Then in that case... All right. I, I'm, I, I think we're a little lost at this point, <laughs> folks. Um, no, we still got this. All right. So... <laughs> So now I have no airstrikes. So oh. enforce curfew. Quarantine. I can quarantine cards and move them over here. I could. I would do that. I could swap. Well, I could quarantine these two. Or the volatiles, because one more volatile and we're done. But then, well, yeah. How do I get these two by themselves with a swap? An aggressive crowd control. 
If I get rid of... Oh, if you get rid of these by quarantining and then swap these two... We'll try. But then the problem is when we add cards to the tap... Alright, we'll figure it out. Alright. So, let's... Can't you... Oh. Quarant... Well, look, you can... Oh, yeah, that's right. I see what you mean. Or... It's a repeat. Shuffle a row or column. No. Still well, swap the. All right, so why not just do the the Rexar thing and move one additional card? All right, quarantine and moving. But one. then I have to. But I'll look at all the force flipping I'd have to do on the next turn. One, two, three. Yeah. All right, I have to do quarantine and use the question mark to move one additional. Oh card. yeah. You may flip a oh, that that means you may f also flip a face up card in the crown face down. We all know that they're bad. Yeah. So that would be useless. Mm -hmm. Quarantine lets me move one additional card. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm going to play quarantine. I'm going to quarantine one, two, three. Okay. And you have to grab one of these, right? I racks on because of this question mark. Yep. This is Meryl Wolf Part 2. Nope. Uh, There's no Part 1. No. Alright. Um, so now that ends my turn. New turn. <laughs> Flip 1. Flip 1. Chaotic. We have to add 1. <laughs> that chaotic is a killer. It is. I'm going to get out of here. Alright. Add 3. Oh, ma maybe you should... Oh. Well, here's the grid, three by three grid. I'm gonna add them up here. Doesn't it have to be like where the most. Oh yeah, well here and then here. And then here, right? Yeah. So oh. there's no way. There's no way I can get them by themselves. You know what I mean? Well, mm. I think I lost. I'm pretty sure I, we lost Which this. one's that one? What's your question mark on that one? You may flip a face card in the crowd face... Oh, you may also flip a face up card. Oh, we can flip something face down with that. Mm -hmm. So after we flip, we can flip a card face down. Okay, so after you swap this one, you can flip this one face down. Yeah, but how do we get this one out of here? You can use... Oh, you don't have targeted airstrike again. No, I'm out of targeted airstrikes. Kill all the cards in one row, one column. I wish. <laughs> well, yes, wait, can't you anyways? Because they're not healthy at all? I don't have an airstrike. Doesn't matter. No, no, for the... for the. In forest, choose a row or column in the crowd, shuffle the cards together, and put them on the population. But when we add them in the future... I, oh, all right, let's try it. So, what else did I have to do? I didn't have to force flip... That was one force flip here. Added three. <laughs> I have to force flip again. So, this one? Yeah, sure. Add. <laughs> yeah, this point. Up here. <laughs> well, just right there. And, and then, then another force flip. No, it has to go here oh, because okay. of the two cards. And then, you and then a racks on. Here you go. Well, I have to flip one and then... No, you just flip oh, that okay. one and then the rack's on. Friends forever. If a familiar card is in the crowd, it is not. Okay. And then you flip two. So maybe these two? Or somewhere here? Yeah, let's hope it's not chaotic. Carrier. Yeah. Okay. okay. And now? Now, my turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to clear out this row and then swap this and this. But... These are going to add it right back anyway. Well, here's the thing. If you clear out this row, right, you can still add these, right? What do you mean? Like, if you clear out this row, when it comes to your turn to add, you can, you can add these, right? Because these go here. So you can add these three. Yeah, they So would... you would add these at the top and then evacuate. Unless I keep quarantining as much as possible. Well, no, here's what No, I'm no, how about I quarantine more cards to quarantine and try and get these by themselves? Well, okay. That's, That's the only other way to do it. If, well, I, if I clear out this row, mm -hmm. this 
Targeted airstrike has three plus. I'm gonna have to draw. I'm gonna add more. But if you add more, right? They have to go in the original three by three grid, and I need oh. this cleared. Oh, they have to go in the original. They can't go, come up here. I don't think so. I don't. I well, they would have to go. I, well, I guess I could do that. Because if they can come up here, you'll have two. But here's stops. the thing. Okay, uh, my uh, camera ran out of battery, and to be honest with you, I don't know if we won or lost at this point. Um, we played off camera for the rest of it, and I basically used my soldier's quarantine action plus the one optional uh, move a card to quarantine in order to get those infected off the board and into quarantine so that when I flipped over more the end of game would not trigger because of those those moons but i forgot there was a rule in the manual that I, I think i might have the pdf here but it basically said if the infection spreads and there's no more cards in the in the uh in the infection draw pile then you're overrun and you've automatically lost i don't know though if that happened when i was playing off camera so i'm gonna call this a win lose but I'm going to veer more on the side of win. I, we did manage to save those last two by constantly moving quarantine cards off to quarantine, or moving uh, those bad infected cards off to quarantine. And then we swapped the position of two cards so that the, uh, the two healthy ones that were left were on the same row, and then I evacuated them. But I don't remember if uh, the infection would have spread and would have made us lose the game before then. So I'm going to call it a win-lose, but more on the lines of a win in the sense that I thought that the game was a lot of fun. I would recommend that new players, I rec instead of taking out for the intro game, uh, there's certain cards that you take out for the intro game. Keep the green cards in. You can keep the blue um, what were they, hostels out, but keep the green healthy ones in. I think there's like five more green cards that were taken out. I think they're family, excuse me, family or something like that. So keep those in so that there's more of a chance of you rescuing the 20 that you need. Or instead of shooting for 20 as your goal, do 15 or possibly 10 as your introductory game. So to make the game easier and less challenging for you know newcomers and casual people, Set the game condition to maybe 10 or 15 and or um, add the healthy green cards that were taken out back into the uh, draw pile so that uh, instead of having to rescue all 20 cards, uh, you, have, you only have to rescue like say 20 out of 25 or even less than that if you take it easier. But overall, very, really, very good game, I think. And Idly, you had a good time with it, right? Oh yeah, uh -huh. definitely. You'd play it again. Yes, okay. So, um, hard to say if we won or lost that one because of a rules. Uh, you know, I, I forget what happened at the end there, but it, it, it was a fantastic game. And I would highly recommend it, assuming you can find it. So, um, with that said, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Guys. Bye.